Um, had an awesome break. I'm sure all of you guys did as well. It's freezing cold out there still. Making sure you guys are dressing warm, but we will plan on being in the gym before school and at lunch until it is 45 degrees. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like it's going to get there all week long. Um, so those of you guys, I know the gym sometimes after lunch um, is not the most ideal spot. If you guys are looking, we're going to bring those bleachers out. If you want to bring your book in there to read, that is perfectly fine. We are still not allowing any electronic devices during that gym time. So if you either A, want to bring your book and sit in those bleachers, or B, bring your book and sit out in this hallway right outside, you can do that, but plan on being inside all week long. Um, got some announcements we're going to make. I know on your schedule, some of you guys have two things I know I need to change for you. On your schedules, if you have Wofford, those of you guys that are Wofford, that room is going to change. It was in 108. It is now going all the way upstairs into 226. That teacher is going to be Mrs. Ainsworth. She is actually not here today. She is with Mrs. Burns and Mrs. Siders um, at a class. You guys go to class all the time. Our teachers go to classes as well. So they're taking some classes today. She will be here tomorrow. But anybody that has Wofford on their schedule, the change is going to be room 226. And the teacher is going to be Ainsworth, Mrs. Ainsworth. 226 is right across the hall from Mrs. Siders and Mrs. Alcorn, right down the hall from Mrs. Paul up in that corner. Everybody that has Shurin on your schedule, that change is going to be from room 226 down to room 108. That is the room right there um, across from the library in the lobby right down there, Mrs. Wofford's old room. So. All people that have Shurin on their schedule, room 226, it is going to be in room 108, and that is Mrs. Steele. And I don't know if we can get that spotlight all the way over there by Mrs. Miller and Mr. Moulton, but we'll let Mrs. Steele give you a quick wave real quick. Well, from her here. And she's coming to us from Oklahoma City and has some affiliations with Vance Air Force Base, but I'll let her explain that. I've got the microphone, so I should have your eyes and ears right here. Yes, Mason. A couple other housekeeping things. Guys, it's, it's that season you're going to want to dress warm. You're going to wear hats and gloves and all those things. Still, when you enter this building, we want you to take those hats off in the building. That's for gentlemen and ladies make sure your hats are off the other thing we want to bring to your attention as some of you guys are, are rotating around in your rooms guys if if you ever need to leave that room you need two things two things to leave that classroom they are what pass and two permission so make sure you guys get cleared through that teacher have that red hall pass to be out and about um that just reminded me of that. And then again, in that lunch hall, we're going to be in there just making sure you're taking care of that place. You guys have been doing a great job of, of being dismissed by table. If we need to shut it down and dismiss it by room, we will. Don't want to do that. Um, want to treat you and trust you like we know we can. So make sure you guys are taking care of that building as well. Um, but those two things on your schedule changes, just wanted to uh, go through that real quick. And then we'll start off with our joke of the day. And I think we're going to have a... Um, all-time record for number of entries by this first lady. But come on up here, guys, and we'll let you go for the joke of the day. My name's Cheney, and I'm from the sixth grade. My joke is, why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Come on, Brenna. My name is Brenna. Hold on. Get it way up there. Hold it. You got you to put it real close, though. My name is Brenna from the eighth grade. And my, <laughs> and my joke is, there's two muffins in the oven. One said, ooh, it's getting hot in here. The other one said, ah, a talking muffin. <laughs> talking muffin. All right, Brenna. All right, Titan. Why did the gun cross the road? Because it's stuck with the chicken. My name is Titan from the seventh grade. Why did the gum cross the road? 
because it was stuck to the chicken. show you the first one um, we'll get pulled up is is from an actor um, from an actor from a singer from a performer um, Will Smith he, he covers a lot of different things this is this is some interviews this is some clips from movie cut-ups um, but I really want you to listen what he's talking about on success we bring in some speakers and we talk about winning um, and we weren't able to of course get him in in here today uh, but he's going to talk about some things and put things in a perspective that I've never heard before um, before we play I want to bring some things to your attention of what you guys have already been able to to produce um, just call your attention some first things from from excuse me from this first semester um, some all-time highs for Waller had a had a new all-time high here recently of number of students we've had over 700 students get educated in this building this first semester so a lot we've got 658 we've had some move in move out so over 700 students were served um, this last semester you guys have done a pretty decent job up until December um, and I know health and sickness played into that but our attendance is is right at 95 percent which we need to maintain so good job on your attendance the eligibility list guys D's and F's have been at a record low I mean for the highest number of students the percentage of those students on the ineligibility list is an all-time low so congratulations for being academically successful as well you bet give yourselves a round of applause that takes some work guys Um, and with all those student achievements come some teacher recognitions as well. Um, Mrs. Gilbreth being recognized as our Teacher of the Year. Give her a round of applause. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Sackett undefeated 8-0 record this first semester. Congratulations, everybody on the academic team. First ever Zombie Run and Fitness Expo, about 450 participants in that day. Great event, first event for Waller. At uh, Enid High School, we didn't get to host it here, but had several participants in the Marshallese Islander Night, including dancers and singers, so great job for all those performers. The most ever red carpet honor band selections this first semester. I don't know if it was over 30 or some, something phenomenal that you guys did with the band, but the most ever. So, and orchestra, choir, guitar, speech, all of those guys uh, are, are, are great opportunities for you guys to showcase the things that you've been doing. So if you participate in any of those things, congratulations. Any of those performances. Veterans Day was a huge success. Thank you for all of you guys dressing up for our Christmas picture as well. That was a great day. Um, participated in art, our art students with the displays in the lobby, but as well, and I don't know if you guys know this, we have a wing at Bass Hospital um, that is sponsored by Waller Middle School art students that they hang our art in that wing and then they're auctioned off periodically. So great for those patients that are in there, but great for our students. Um, and a, a way for us to make some money, too. Dance has been soaring at an all-time high. Athletics, those of you guys in cheer, dance, orchestra, art shows, speech, class officers, STUCO, NJHS, Principals Advisory Committee, and those of you guys even participating in Special Olympics, all-time highs. Thank you for that as well. been having our Monday assemblies and been showcasing amazing talent but also the productions on the, on the video so all of you guys that have been talent and video productions congratulations um, continuing in advice built and those skills are being developed we're getting a better understanding guys of ourselves um, as well as others and how we fit into this world how we fit into Waller um, but also how how we are as individuals and how important 
not about just me all the time. We're a part of something bigger than ourselves. And I think our GTO was a great example of that. For the second year in a row, guys, you guys did some phenomenal things. It was bigger and better this year. You guys were able to do some things specifically by advisory and specifically for some places that you guys targeted, whether it was charitable organizations or just specific families or family members. So I appreciate you guys doing that as well. So give yourselves a hand on the GTO. More AR points than we've ever had in this building, culminating with uh, 44 students being selected uh, to go to OSU for that day. So more than we have as a building. So appreciate that. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well, um, and then in interest with several of you producing great products, um, finals. Excuse me finalized by our Maker Fair that Thursday night where we had all those events going on. Several compliments from people around the community um, and, and parents from, from your parents of all the things that you guys have been able to accomplish in those clubs in a short amount of time uh, because, guys, it's something you've been interested in. So I appreciate you guys sharing your talents, these teachers sharing their talents, and then the products that you guys have came up with. Um, we're going to expand on that this semester. We're going to expand on it in, in, in every way. One of the big changes you're going to see coming about is some things we're going to do on our schedules on Tuesday, Thursdays. We're going to take a little bit of time um, out of your classes and add that back into a period after lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and some of your teachers have already talked to you um, before lunch, excuse me, before lunch, before break before Christmas break, and you guys have been, get, been getting assigned those classes. We're going to make sure we take some time every Tuesday and Thursday to uncover any of those weaknesses that you have. You know, we've offered some things on the nights. We've offered some things on the weekends for you guys to come back and, and, and get some tutoring. Well, what we're going to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays af after lunch is have an opportunity for every single student in this building um, to target their academic strengths and weaknesses. Some of you are, are, are excelling above and beyond, and we're going to put you in some situations where we can do some ACT prep for you so you can increase that thing by a couple more points. Some of you just have some skills and a specific class, whether it's math or science or English or what it might be, and then we just want to target those for a 20, 30 minute block in time, get you caught up and get you right back in there. So we're going to do some things with that RTI, with those tutorings on Tuesday, Thursdays. You're going to sign up on some things tomorrow in in your advisory class. Two things you're going to sign up or get communicated. One, you're going to get communicated where you're going to be Tuesday afternoon and Thursday afternoon. The other thing we need you to sign up tomorrow in is our clubs. We want to expand those clubs and meet your needs. So whatever those things are that you're passionate about, you need to share them with your teacher. We need to find a sponsor and get you hooked up. So tomorrow in advisory, they're going to communicate where you're going after lunch, what class you're assigned to. We're going to report, and then you're going to check in and go to that teacher's room for that 25-minute 20, block of time. You're also going to need to get on that Google, um, Google Doc and sign up for what club you want because those clubs are going to start this Friday. We're going to do just like we did last semester. This Friday, you're going to report to a club. Check it out. We're going to come back next Friday, report to another club if you want to try a different one. Check it out. And then by the third week, we're going to have you guys locked all into a club, and that's what's going to be for the rest of the, sem the semester. Um, if you want, and if it comes out that way, we're probably going to have another Maker Fair this spring so you guys can, again, display those products. But we'll let, uh, we'll let you guys and your clubs decide how we want to move forward with that. So just some housekeeping things on getting organized. Um, and in a way for us to make sure we're offering every way for you guys to be successful, guys. We'll tell you again, we don't define what your success is. We don't define what winning is for you. You tell us what you want to be. You tell us what you want to do later on in life. We'll help you get there. Whether it's because the class we teach or because the club we offer on Friday or some extra help or some extracurricular activities we can get you linked up with, if you want to do it, we want to be the school that finds a way to get it done for you. 